begin today's recording by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we are on. I am on Burrawang land. Where are you, Breeza? I am on the land of the Jajarurung people. We pay our respects to their elders past and present and extend that respect to our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who are tuning in today. And wherever you're listening to the potty today, make sure you know whose land you're on. Join us each week for some booze-free banter about life without booze. If you're entertaining cutting back your booze by a day, a week, a month, or for the rest of your life, we would love for you to tune in. Buckle up and come along for a ride that may just change your life. If any of today's conversations have been triggering, please reach out to your local support centre in Australia. That is Lifeline 131114. Let's crack a can, Meso. What about a bottle, Breezer? Let's do a bottle today. Great. What are you drinking there, Meso? <laughs> Look at the she Raz. Meso has it. in her hot little hands. The... I've got the Pepperberry she Raz Altina's range. It's the perfect blend of premium dealkalized Shiraz and native Australian pepperberry, bursting with juicy red fruits and a hint of dark chocolate. A dry, smooth finish with notes of vanilla and laid lingering spice. Hickety boom. That was one I cracked the other week and delish. Delish. <laughs> So good. Delish. And what have Altina given our listeners? So Altina have generously given our listeners 15% off their entire range. The code is BFB15. And where do they go shopping, Meso? At www.altinadrinks.com. We love you, Altina. Altina. Meso. Reza. (laughs) We are at the final episode. (laughs) (laughs) For season this season, yeah. for this season. This isn't the last. You're not no, hearing the we'll end of back. us. We'll be back. We'll be back in yeah. your ear holes. Just need uh, a spell. Just need a spell. It's been a massive season, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. We're going to need to like have a spell, relax before we kick off to pre-season. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever have a re- relax. We're constantly like looking for, I don't know, content, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so constant. much. So many and people you, are off the piss. Well, oh. I was actually, it's a great segue, Mesa, because mm. I was actually going to say to you, do you mm. feel like now your your eyes and ears are way more open and you're, you're mm. hearing that so many people are off the booze? 100%. I was listening to Howie Games yesterday, Burn and Fanning's been off it since October. Wow. Did they deep dive into that? Did they deep no, dive into that? Or not just... massively. He did give it a little bit of a run, how he's, you know, the, the, did you know the Red Hot Summer Tour is 20 weekends in a row? No. Yeah. That's, like nearly, that's half a year practically. That's in like a the row. longest touring that's ever he's ever done. Um, but so he's like, no, nah, I'm just off it since October. I need to be fresh every, you know, and feel so much better for it and waking up fresh and all the things. So I'm like, shout out to Bernard Fanning. Anyone knows him? <laughs> get him, we'll get him on. Well, do you know, yeah. I reckon we can, we can hit up um, Vicka. Vicka. Same, like, yeah, maybe Vicka's because, on as well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe because like rubbed off everyone on Red Hot Summer Tour. <laughs> and they're all off the gas. Thanks, Vicka. We love you as well. Yes. We love Vicka. She was episode something. Something pickable. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she a cracking guest? Oh, she unreal. was a cracking guest. Unreal. Absolute belter. So, but how have you been before we get into uh, our confession session? Talk I've to actually me. Got, I've actually got goosebumps, mate. I have manifested my life and it is all coming to fruition. I am up and about. I am wearing Cooper Chapman's new merch as well. Can you Looks see great. that? Looks yeah, great. Looks great. Yeah, yeah. So good, 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 good head. Good good heads, three heads. Um, and there's like actually where it's a written good, it's on your breast. So yeah. it's like double, <laughs> double, double goodness. It's, yeah, it's all the good, all the good stuff. So you can get over Cooper. That was a we're another name guest. dropping all over the place oh, no. here. He's another guest we had on. That last um, episode of the season, we can do what we want. <laughs> yeah, it's just a rogue set. <laughs> So Cooper, um, Cooper Chapman of the Good Human Factory, get over. He's doing some amazing work in um, the mental health space. But, yeah, he's got unreal merch. You would have seen Breezer rocking the gratitude tees as well. And I was only going to whack it on today, Mesa, because I'm, I'm um, off sh- offshore. I shouldn't say offshore. <laughs> I'm away. <laughs> I'm still I'm in Australia. <laughs> I'm um, down at the beach on tour mm. and I actually have my T-shirt with me, mm. but it's a bit chilly in the house, so I've gone like full, full yeah. woman knit. We've, we've gone full <laughs> knit. <laughs> cashmere sweat <laughs> cashmere sweat so you're up and about mate i am i am i'm really happy oh. everything is really 
In flow, baby. In Love flow. That. that was on my gratitude list yesterday. Oh, really? In, yeah, I had a really um, positive day of being in flow yesterday. Oh, I love that. Love I those love days. that. I'm going to circle back of what all is happening with my recommendation, a little tie into that. So, oh, nice. But yeah, yeah, I'm up and about. Nice. And I feel like our listeners may so have like ridden this like a roller coaster wave of emotions with you. hundred percent. So like it's, it's a journey. <laughs> and we're peaking and that's why we're finishing the, for season two. <laughs> we're finishing on a high. Yeah, um, yeah. But no, it's it's great that you have shared, mm-hmm. you know, the the highs and the really low lows that you've had over well for season two the whole mm. season yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I think it's awesome because it yeah. shows our listeners that when you do the work you sit in the pain you sit in the feelings mm. that goodness does you know you come out the other side yeah there's yeah. rainbows and cupcakes and Nutella and sprinkles <laughs> yum <laughs> fairy bread so I love oh. that I love that this is where you're at. Thank you, mate. I love it. Really, really happy, really good, exciting things um, happening. And yeah, I'll tell you in the reco later. How tell me, are can't you? wait. But I just want to uh, share a quick conversation that I had with someone recently. And I bugger if I know who it was, but mm. I, I said to them, I still can't believe that Meso's got through what she has, like the, oh. the breakup without booze. Thank you. Like, mate. I still can't believe you've done that. And I think you underestimate how difficult that was. Mm, like mm, gosh it's at you. any point you could have cracked mate and you didn't and thank you yeah there's actually a great um imperfects podcast that was their bonus episode recently have you listened to it mate you told me you said and i listened to it the other day yeah oh yep. how good because he talks about yeah how we're so conditioned just to, to be happy all the time mm, and that mm. when we when we feel uncomfortable that slight you know sense of uncomfortability mm. that we just you know try and distract ourselves yeah, totally. Yeah, to to wash away those feelings. Yeah, but you've sat in them, sat in them, felt them, it's swam been... in them, drowned <laughs> them, like <laughs> yeah, to come back them. up, <laughs> choked on them. Yeah, got some air. Yeah, it's been it has been a lot. Thank you for acknowledging that, Breeze. And I probably don't really spend much time going. Oh, I really smashed that. Like wacky mm. go me. <laughs> it's like it's just what I do now. It's just part of my life now, yeah. and I to f- sit in those feelings and talk to them and, and bring in all the tools that I use daily to talk yep. to little Claire Bear and honour me. And it is, and I spoke to an audience this morning about it. it. When you sit in those feelings and do the work and work through it, it is actually really beautiful. It is stunning. Mm-hmm. Like I did that yesterday and to be able to sit down, write my notes, journal, go for a swim. I do those duck dives where I wash away the stresses from head to toe. I do those four duck dives breathe, float, pray, all the things, and then duck dive back and talk to the sun, talk to whoever the higher power is and talk to myself and support myself. It has been an extraordinary journey and I couldn't have done it without the podcast keeping me on track. So thank you again. I can never thank you enough for trusting with this, inviting me to to come on board with your breeze. I'll never forget that. And it has been instrumental in me getting through this, you know, eight years is a long time and Mm. what has happened since then has been brutal. It has yeah. been absolutely brutal. Um, but I'm so grateful because I've been able to show up here every every week, even every though week. I've yep. struggled, yep. pull it together, but it's yep. given me a purpose. It's kept me accountable. It's helping people, as we said, there's no price you can put on that. And I, oh, I'm a bit emotion. It's, oh, been, it's, it's been, been a you. ride. You. It's been a real ride. And yeah, I'm just, I feel so lucky. And, I, you know, as brutal as everything has been, it, it is an absolute blessing because I wouldn't have learned what I've learned and been open for the lessons and felt that pain. There is no pain without growth. Uh, hang on, let's say, got that back to front. I'm There's always no mincing my words. <laughs> always mincing my words. <laughs> there is no growth without pain. Yeah. And I... I have learnt so much about who I am and what I want and what I need and just honouring me and it's just the most extraordinary thing and I feel so, so grateful. So, yeah, it's, it's been, I'm really blessed for the whole thing to feel it. Do it sober, baby. Sober, baby. And you're like you would be helping so many people, myself, without even knowing. Oh, like, yeah, just you as, well thanks. done. Thanks, well done, mate. mate. Well done to you. You too, though, Breeze. I was talking to a friend yesterday, actually, um, gorgeous um, girl I used to work with who who reached out, and she loves it that we 
we're not two we're not two girls sitting here saying oh we're sober for three years like what you do you know pink elephants lemonade look at us though <laughs> that's unrelatable because yeah. you've dipped your toe back in you know you bring that color to it as well and I know that's been a, a, a tricky little mm. journey for you to navigate through as well so I love that we bring both both sides of the lens so yeah. how do you talk to me well I'm great I'm really good I um had a sober Easter went away camping ah oh, because Easter's normally tricky for you Easter's tricky Easter's mm. tricky and just you know Easter in general I think or camping sorry in general like mm. is normally you know fueled by booze around the campfire drinking cans and mm. all <laughs> I did was I had um I had an eight pack of heaps normal yes and yeah I just I didn't even get through them all Oh, wow. <laughs> How cray cray it was. <laughs> but there was no inkling. There was actually, I was with the kids and it was just, I was in nature for four days, oh, three days. Nature. Yep, three days out in nature. And it was just the best. And Please. there was no service for phones. So we just, the day, and the days actually went pretty quick. Like we fished, we swam, sat around the campfire, just explored. And just connected mm. and it was the best thing. There was not one oh. there was not one moment where I thought, geez, I'd love to get shit faced or geez, I want an alcoholic beverage. It was so really? nice. Yeah. Oh, wholesome. It was so nice. I did have a couple of darts and the kids were like, <laughs> Mum, we're telling Mesa that you're smoking. <laughs> love that the kids are it's grassing gorgeous. on you to me. <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> And even if I have like an oh, alcoholic good. beer, they're like, is that got alcohol in it, mum? I go, no, it hasn't. And they're like, okay, well, otherwise we would tell telling me so. <laughs> so you got two little spies on me. I love um, it. I love but it. yeah, it was just no inkling. And mm. I think that's a huge shift for me. Steve. Steve that nice. I just like, why would I why would I ruin this experience mm. by and let's face it, I would have got blind drunk. I wasn't just wouldn't have just had a couple. I mm. would have got drunk. And mm. then felt rubbish the next day, not had that connection with the kids. Yeah. Like not yeah. being able to just go jump in my car and we went and saw some friends who were also up the road mm. um, camping. So I wouldn't have been able to do that safely. I, I love this so yeah. much. Like I really love what you said there about it would have ruined it, whereas it would have been a time you would have said it would have enhanced the moment. But yeah. Now you that change of wording. It's like playing the tape forward. You it would have ruined it by getting yep. smashed. Like what's yep. the point? What's this for you? So mate? it's been a big shift. Like just reflecting. Like yeah, there was oh. there would have been a time where I was like you just load up on cans, <laughs> booze. <laughs> yeah. So I think at reflecting on it all, mate. So it's mm. um, there's no desire to even though I have brought alcohol back into. Um, my life it's mm. been on my terms yes yeah. and I know it hasn't in ha it hasn't made any experience like wow <laughs> like it's just <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah like wow I need to get back on this like every weekend yeah yeah so yeah. it's been good to learn that but we can unpack that further in the potty I think time yeah. it's time now to <laughs> dive into confession session yep confession session it's time to play would you tell us what you ashamed to say all right, well, you want to do a confession session, so I reckon you need to go first, mate, so. Okay, all right. It's just a nice, quick, little, fast and loose one. I was talking to a friend yesterday on the phone and we were talking about how bad things got and how silly things got. <laughs> and I probably my – it's probably one of my – when I realised, oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was Googling what time BWS opened. <laughs> and shitty that it didn't open before 10 o'clock because I would have had a bust up with the ex at the time the night before so I would have been like trying to drown that emotion yeah. to escape yeah. and I was meant to go to work but I was driving through the bottle shop of BWS calling in sick at the same time to get three bottles of rosé which we label BD bitch diesel yeah. <laughs> bitch Oh, uh, did anyone pick up the phone? In, they're calling in sick on the way through the bottle shop so I could get hammered to yeah. escape what had happened the night before and, you know, get three bottles because I'm not coming back. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm tying one on and making a day of it. Yeah. yeah. And I honestly, I remember I remember getting stuck into those bottles. In fact, actually, the bottle shop was only probably a 100-metre walk from my house in reflection as well, but drove there. Well done. <laughs> um, 
Oh, which reminds me, actually, I think I did go through a bit of a phase of um, bottle shop hopping, like doctor shopping, but, oh, you know, bouncing oh, through different God. bottle shops because I didn't want them to see me buying, yeah. you know, rosé. You want Johnny to serve you every time. <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so how did your day pan out? How did the three oh, bottles, how did it pan out? Not well, not well. I think um, the first bottle... I reckon probably, I think I remember thinking, oh, yeah, this is good for the first half an hour or hour. This is good. But then just, it's 11 o'clock, in, 10 o'clock in the morning, Breeze. How do you reckon it went? It's it probably a school, like a school day. Like school day, yeah. would have been like a, yep. We couldn't even, yep, exactly. Tuesday, Wednesday. And just, yeah, wrote myself off. Who knows? I probably might have ordered tipple and got gin at the end of the night. <laughs> I just would have gotten an absolute mess. But, yeah, so d- rolling through BWS calling in six. Six, so I could tie one on by oh, myself. Mate. What a winner. <laughs> we can laugh about it, but, yeah, that's a sad yeah. – you painted a sad picture in a humorous way because we yeah, like it's to ridiculous. add humor. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like it's ridiculous. Um, you just re- – thank you for sharing, mate. So I just quickly yeah, okay. want to interject because you yeah. just reminded me of um, – I was watching I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out Here. I can't mm. miss that show. I love that show. It's the only TV show I have to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, couldn't get, couldn't give a you know shit. The TV's on. Mm. Um, so last night they had, and I don't watch Below the Deck, like it's a reality boating TV. Show. <laughs> okay, but the lady on it. So it's, it's you know um, wealthy people who have <laughs> boats. Yeah. And anyway, one of the deckhands, Asia, I think is that that's her title. She um, was saying that um, these you know very wealthy people. She goes, they they start the night, you know, all. All happy, 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 happy. Hoity toity. Yeah, yeah hoity toity. Yeah. But drinking shows, it always ends in them te- in tears because yeah. oh, they're not happy. And she said nine out of ten times, that's what happens. Unbelievable. No surprise. Yeah. No yeah. surprise. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to sound like no surprise, but it's yeah. like, sorry. I didn't- they're drinking their emotions. Yeah. And then obviously um, it comes incredible. out when they're drunk. Makes so which, much sense. Which, yeah. You know. Totally relatable. Yeah, um, yeah. totally. <laughs> now, now the emotions yeah. just come out anytime. <laughs> <laughs> but the best thing about our emotions now, and is that we can harness them, we catch yeah, them, we talk yeah, yeah. We're able to self regulate, and they're not massive. as potent. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, we, and you've said that before that you're not as like, um, you're high, more ste- yeah, yeah. You're not as high, high, low, low, but it's more steady, steady yeah. ship, yeah, steady, yeah, steady yeah, captain of the helm. <laughs> I I skip. (laughs) That's really interesting. Thanks for sharing that little story about. um, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wow. 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 Mm. When I, when I I didn't mean to say no surprise, but I I feel like everything always ends in tears. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Does any night ever end well? No. Does anything good happen? Nine times out of 10, there'd be spew or crying or a fight or something. (laughs) Some bodily fluids coming out (laughs) (laughs) of some hole. All right, Fraser, what do you got? <laughs> um, okay, so my confession is um, I got kicked out of the casino. <laughs> <laughs> in my 30s. Kicked out of the cats, yep, in my 30s. Not proud. Not proud, mate. That's, uh, pretty, that's pretty big to be kicked out of the cats. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like you what a rat. Been, you must have been loose. And to make matters worse. Um, my six-month-old daughter was upstairs in the hotel room oh. asleep Not with the supervision. I wasn't trying to just leave her. <laughs> yeah, so I had one tickets to Robbie Williams' intimate oh, concert. Good. It was amazing. And mum couldn't. Mum was going to go with me. She couldn't because she was unwell. So a friend who loves Robbie Williams came with me. And then our friend Jen came along and babysat, <laughs> babysat Elkie, my daughter. Nice one, Jenna. Love, good on her, legend Jen. So, yeah, we went out, we went to the cast, saw Robbie, Amazeballs, and mm. then went to a bar there. Just, yeah, being menaces, got cut oh. off. Oh. And then got, yeah, asked to leave. How bad is that getting cut off and asked to leave? Yeah, so cut off. Mess. And I was like, okay, I can deal with that. Like, I can still have a dance. But yeah, clearly out of control. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so I was, I would have been 32 at the time. 34. No, shit. I was 34. What? Oh, shit. 34. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, and I didn't think of it like at the time, we were just bl- blind and just laughing and pissed off mm. that we got kicked out because um, mm. we still wanted to drink. Mm. Uh, and I remember then having to go back to the hotel room and express 
because I was still breastfeeding at the time, oh. which again, I'm like, who, which, who, I don't know, which mums are still breastfeeding their kids and getting blind drunk? Mm, mm. Like guilty as charged. Um, Probably more than we know. Wasn't for my first rodeo either. No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like it's just shit. And I look back and go, I can't take, I can't get those times back. Oh, and thank God, good. I'm actually, I'm as I said before, I'm down the beach with the kids recording. They've just ducked out to the news agents. Like, thank God they're not hearing this because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they were um, here at the start of the potty. But yeah, yeah so um, definitely, there's, a, there's actually shame, a lot of shame wrapped around that as well. But yeah, yeah. kicked out of the cast is one thing, but the whole, you know, the my six month old daughter was upstairs asleep. Oh, and the fact that I was saying Crown, which is a beautiful hotel, mm. couldn't enjoy the beautiful bed because I was too drunk. Like, yeah. <laughs> woke up look, feeling like shit, looking like shit, couldn't enjoy the beautiful room because mm. I was just hung. Mm. And then, yeah, car ride home, probably a shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Mm. Ouch, mate. Ouch. Thank you for sharing that. I can see and feel that pain on you. Although it's a bit funny that you do get kicked out of the cast. I like know, slight, like fun, but also the and and do you know what's really funny you say when we unpack that? Like because I was listening to another podcast and they're not in the no booze section <laughs> at all. But they laugh about, you know, how we would have. We would have thought that was really funny mm. getting kicked mm. out of the cast and being cut off. Oh, totally. We yeah. wouldn't have c- considered or even discussed the shame and regret and uh, uh, you know everything that you've just unpacked there that we normalize. That's right. What we previously normalized. We yeah. That's just yeah. what we do. Yeah, we share the heroic story of getting kicked out. Whereas yeah. we should be talking about the shame yes. the next day and saying, mm. reaching out to my friends, going, guys, I'm really ashamed of what happened last night. Yeah. Instead of yeah. giggling in fits of laughter when mm. deep down you know that your your heart's hurting because yeah. of how you're feeling. And yeah. probably mental, you, yeah, noggin's not the best. <laughs> yeah, the eggnog is scrambled. Yeah. <laughs> Sunny side, not up. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a couple of doozies for you, peeps. <laughs> a couple of doozies. Enjoy. Hope you can relate. <laughs> I know. Well, actually, I was thinking about this this morning when we did record our last potty. And I, I might have written it down, but a, a confession session or shame story popped into my head then. I'm like, oh, I need to share that oh. next time. But I forgot what it was. Oh, I'll I have to go that. back on my notes. Do you know that's funny? Like all day, every day, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's one to add to the list. There's one to do. Yeah, Adam, I, I forget my to, notes. Yeah, I need to do that. I, need I to forget too. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, forget yeah. too. There's plenty that forgotten little, but there's plenty to just go keep coming in. So, yeah. oh, they just pop Thanks up for sharing, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And think about the ones that we would have forgotten. I know, mate. Ooh. So many. Ooh. Oh, or and and we have you know consciously chosen not to say some. <laughs> yeah. Because we're just like nah, <laughs> nah. That's not for public consumption. <laughs> no. No, sorry, Bob. Oh, that could be like a conversation. There's some that I haven't told you. Actually, I need to get up a chest. <laughs> <laughs> Off air. Off air. Yeah. Off air. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's keep rocking okay. on. It's our last okay. It's our last okay. and yeah, let's rock into it. So, rock into it. okay. Do, do you know what I actually want to start with really quickly? No, but and you're I, dancing. I like that. Go on. Yeah, I'm, I'm really up and about. And it's something I want to introduce into season three is asking our guests those um, three words or less, what you were like then and what you're like now. But I think as co-hosts, we get to have four because I've got four. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I love that question to Drew last week. Loved it. Yeah. So I probably didn't give you enough credit for it. Sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll take it now. (laughs) It's a bit amazing. Yeah. So good. I'll thank you so much. I think it's it's fun. So, Breeza, tell me four things. Oh, shit, I'm on the spot. (laughs) Yeah. Or would you like some time to think about it? Would you like to circle back? No, I'll off the cuff. Okay. Four words that would describe what you were like on the booze, what you were like then, and four words to describe, four words or less of what you were like now. Okay. Okay. So rec- reckless. Oh, good one. Um, unaware. Yeah. Love it. Um, oh, 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 I need some thinking music. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, oh, God, mate. So can I just go with those oh, two? Do you want to come back? Yeah, yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. do you want to come back? Yeah. Or do you want me to say mine? No, I'll go. Oh, yeah, you say your four. Yep. My four um, was sad. Lonely, pathetic, and Ooh. obnoxious. Mate, they're um, brutal. 
Yeah, because I was Very pathetic. Sure. Yeah. Obnoxious yeah. in a funny way. But. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty I, loud and like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'll add pest. Pest. Yeah, pest. Yeah, to, I was to mine. Pest. Yeah. I liked your reckless because I was too. Actually, oh, I would say so I was dangerous. Reckless. Yeah. I would say yeah. I was dangerous. So yeah. stupid. Like some of the shit. Yeah. So silly. And uh, what's the other one? Um, I, what's an, the word? I can't think of it. But like you, I didn't think of other people. Yeah. Um, no when uh, Selfish. No consideration. Selfish. No consideration. Yeah. yeah. And selfish. Yeah. Selfish. It's, it's rude. <laughs> I was just yeah. stuck out of the sea bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in denial. I was in denial. Oh, denial. Yeah. We've yep. used a few words. We've gone over time with four. We've gone over the limit. <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> it's okay. We can. <laughs> this is our episode. <laughs> um, yeah. There's oh, some okay. there's some massive words, Meso. Like yeah, okay. we're our own worst critic. Um, but yeah, that like what was the second one you said? I think that was the one that hit me. Sad, lonely, pathetic, obnoxious. Oh, pathetic. Mm, pathetic. That's- Really harsh, mate. <laughs> but if that's how you well, feel, that's how you yeah. feel. Like, if that's how you were feeling. Well, I was pathetic. I wasn't doing any work. I was just pathetically mm. just, you know, drink and feel sorry for yeah. myself. Yeah. And yep. nothing changes if nothing changes. I was con- continually repeating the same behaviour, hoping it would get better as Einstein as we keep banging on about. It's the de- definition of insanity. Yeah. So I just think that's pathetic. And don't you reckon I, I would say judgmental? I, yeah. I was definitely judgmental. Um on and off the piss. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to think that that has changed significantly. Okay. Uh, but I, um, yeah, I thought I was living my best life. Like, yeah. And I thought anyone else who wasn't joining in, loser. But <laughs> <laughs> in actual fact, the tables were turned. Loser. <laughs> yeah. Like I really thought that this was, you know, every weekend you get hammered, you have to drink to have mm. fun. Mm. Like mm. you have to drink to be interesting. You have to drink to, you know, have fun with your mates. Yeah. Or to meet new people. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And I thought I was a real hero, like a real, yeah. I was proud of that being piss fit. Like yeah. a really smash piss, like woohoo, you know. And I, what a oh. wanker. What a loser. What a I loser. still, I still um, hear that as in like other people yeah, talking yeah. about their drinking credentials. Mm. And I, one of my um, clients, um, I think he's off it. I don't, I can't confirm, but I know he's had stints off it before. Mm. And so I obviously look after his business account and one of his friends, I'm just putting the pu- piece of the puzzle together. I assume it's one of his mates, drops into the DMs every now and then and puts um, memes about being sober and how shit it is. Oh, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And look, this guy probably never, This my client probably doesn't see it because he's not on Instagram. That's why he... You know, I'm I'm looking after his socials, but and I never look. I've never looked at it at them once, but it, po- it popped up the other day. I'm like, I might just click on it to see if it's actually a business message. And then I looked through all the history, and there was like, <gasps> you know, probably twenty memes over a course of six months that he'd sent to his to my client about being off it, <gasps> and hanging shit on him in a non productive way. Like maybe they've got that relationship where the banter is, it wouldn't matter. But I was like, you just got to be careful sometimes, don't you? Ignorance. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you so, do. Well, that's and I just, haven't mentioned, oh. I didn't, I haven't mentioned anything to my client. Like I'm like, he yeah. may have seen it, he may not, not my business, but yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's real cringy, isn't it? It, it really is. But it's like. I would have thought that was hilarious back then. Again. <laughs> yeah. Well, because we didn't, we weren't educated. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. So words okay. now, Breeza? Fast forward. Yeah, righto. Um, we're definitely aware. Yes, we love this awareness. Definitely aware. Um, I had another good one. It's gone. <laughs> I put you on the spot. Oh, look, um, I don't know if I can say grateful, but I have yeah, been. Can. Yeah, great. So grateful is a yeah. massive one. Mm-hmm. Patient <gasps> is another one. Yeah. And compassionate. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Are they traits, qualities, thoughts, who you are now? No, but they're all things that I continue to work on as well. It's a practice. It's a practice, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, and just, I love that. just a quick little story. Like I um am in like a gratitude group on Instagram. And so yes. Cooper Cooper Chapman's one. Yes, yes. And so I was in this awesome habit of doing it every day. And then I just dropped off, mate. I just dropped off. And I've only started doing it again in the last week, and I've noticed a ch- a shift. Something in me has shifted. Oh my god, I could not love this any more, Breeza. I love this because yeah. we, I've I've done the same over the years. When you drop it off, things start to turn the shit, and then we yep. pick it yep. back up again. All of a sudden, it's like a drug. It's like a drug. You've got to yep. have all the you know all the things and perspective. All it the puts everything mm. in perspective. Yeah, massively. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I can't like, wait to hear your words. I can't wait to hear okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm a bit the same. I'm all about the gratitude. Like there's always gratitude everywhere. Like, for example, you know, when I was talking about earlier, the breakup and all the brutalness, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not playing victim to that. I'm grateful because if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be who I am now without mm-hmm. that pain. It's off the chart. So it's incredible. Um, yeah, self-aware. Yes. I'm just be- banging with self awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wholesomely fun. Like, oh, just- <laughs> that's a good I'm, I'm just fun. This is fun. Just, yeah, I'm calm. You are. I'm so you much are. calmer now. I feel like, yeah, thank you, Brisa. That's really beautiful. And also connected. I'm connected yes. to myself. And I think I actually stole that off um, Drew last week, actually. Connected to you. I've always talked about connections that we have with others, but I'm connected mm. to myself now. And I know who I am, what I'm about, what I want, still learning, still growing, and, yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Oh. oh, they're gorgeous, mate. They That's are great. beautiful. Thank and you. they're I all, think- like, I can I can see all those qualities, attributes. Um, they're all spot on. Like, you, oh. your self-reflection is oh. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. A, 10. a plus student. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think that's the biggest thing, isn't it? I think when you remove booze, you have reflecting is a massive thing that happens isn't it 100 percent. reflecting on who you are your behaviors what you can do changing those patterns not doing the same mistake not, not repeating the same stuff like a reflection section all day long like it's incredible <laughs> that could be a new um segment <laughs> reflection section section <laughs> we need to put that in our next board meeting <laughs> put it to, the board. <laughs> to the adjudicators the reflection I'm writing section. that down Reflection mm. section. It's so true. And I think you become a better reflector. Like I yeah. caught myself saying something to um, Elke only yesterday mm. and I was like, oh, you should you should have you should have said that differently. Like as soon as I said it, I was like, you should have you should have said that, Brianna. Right. You should have framed it differently. Framed it differently. Yeah. yeah right. Is that yeah. Like, yes. That you wouldn't Whereas, have caught that. No, I don't reckon I would have. I don't yeah. reckon I would have. So yeah. it's yeah, I think you're constantly yeah, you, because everything is more you, clarity. Clarity, more clarity. Yeah. <laughs> you have three years of clarity. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that because you have that clarity, you can you can catch yourself quicker. Hundred percent. Shout out to Cup of Clarity. Katie's just chimed yes. over. Was it five hundred days? Five hundred days. Amazing. Kylie Katie Minogue. Katie Minogue. Katie Minogue. <laughs> Katie Minogue. <laughs> Episode thirty six. Go and listen. She's our lawyer, yeah. and she's a weapon. She uh, is a weapon. We love her. So yeah, go get. But yeah, congratulations, Katie. It's amazing. We love. Yeah, you. absolute weapon. And I suppose the, the biggest thing for me in like the biggest contrast between season one and season two of Booze Rebants is that I mm. have brought booze back into my life. Yes. Um, but I feel like, and there's, and I've been reflecting about that as well. <laughs> and <laughs> in the reflection section. In the reflection <laughs> section. Uh, but the biggest difference for me, and when I say I've brought back alcohol back in my life, it's been, I think I've counted five times in the last, um, what are we, eight months that mm. I've drank Nice. And it has never been by myself. Yep, good. Um, I haven't blacked out, mm. and so my drinking has been different. And I've yeah. and I've chosen to drink instead of going. Oh fuck it, I'm just going to drink. I've gone. Mm. Actually, I might have a few drinks for that event. So um, my drinking looks so different, but I don't know if it's going to be here to stay. Yeah, I love like, that. I'm just I like that. What? Value is it adding to my life? Um, <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> Zip. Zip-o. Although, although, yeah, like I, I, and you and I both have had this discussion. We we loved how Dilruk, when we mm. had him on the potty, said that alcohol booze had brought him 
good times. Mm. I think that's what it's opportunity, opportunity, opportunities. Yeah. 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 Um, I haven't had, uh, yeah, the last eight months, I'm like, I couldn't handle my heart, say, for opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm not saying that it's here to stay. Mm. It's just, yeah. I suppose I'm back in that just experimenting stage again. Yeah. What does it look like for me? What yeah. the relationship do I want with it? And just the awareness that I have of it now, yeah. I still like, why, why would I want to drink? I love this. You, I, I love that you will. A, you're educated. You're thinking about what you're doing, and you've really got a, um, a good. Um, you're not doing it to mask emotions. I'm not. You, mate. It's kind of a home That's and away a, thing. Yeah, flavor. Yes. You know, yes. it's it's <laughs> my. You know, when you're being a bit loosey goosey with your partner, which I totally yeah. get. Yeah. You know, that's you know, that, and I think about that as well. What that I know, would look like I know. moving forward, but. I've done that before. So you were always going to dip your toe back in. And yeah. I'm sorry I did write you off recently going, yeah, you'll have a blow. <laughs> sorry. I haven't. Have punters, I haven't. <laughs> Prove me right, prove me wrong, whichever way. And, I, uh, you know, you very well might not, and that's okay, whatever that looks like. But I think you've got a really good handle on, you know, even you're now saying, I don't know what the point is, but I love that you haven't got a rule on it either. I haven't, but it's, it's still that sometimes that mental gymnastics, although, like, I'm thinking, like, I don't even know the next time when I will drink. Yeah, like I don't know. I'm not going. Oh my god, I've got this event on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you know hammered. Good. Getting hammered, getting hammered is not even the objective. It doesn't appeal. To no, you. Yeah. no. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. before it was like, um, is there any other option? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Is there any other way? <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> so yeah, I like guess, I do as well. Yeah, wanting those mind altering substances just to get you a bit sideways. Yeah. How can we do that in a yeah pure way? <laughs> in a pure way. <laughs> We need to do some R and D, may so, and see what's out there. <laughs> um, what about you, mate? How are you? Like how? It, like season two has been huge. What are some well, of learn? What are some of the learnings you've had out of season? Had a season yeah. two. Yeah. Well, I think my solo dating, I've really loved, and I've really pushed myself into that. And probably the latest ones, I went to reminisce, mm-hmm. which is. Um, uh, Stinky Sound System and John Course doing like all the old school oh, house bangers, wow. top 50. Takes us straight back to London. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I was Triggering. up the front. I, well, I was up the front in the mosh pit on my own, right? The crew didn't want to come down the front and that's good. I respect that. And I love yep. the crew that I'm with. They're like, we prefer to stand back. And I'm yep. like, I need to be right I'm going up <laughs> <laughs> on my own. So I love being able to do that sober and really comfortable yeah. to do that because it's the energy of people around yes. me that keeps me, gets me up, and I really need to be into it. Now, I'm not going to lie, there was bags being flown around, <laughs> there's sniffing, there's bottles of hoppers that you can smell in the air, there's darts, there's vapes, there's jaws <laughs> being chewed off faces. It was the whole shebang. And I, I, I did look at that. Mm. And I felt quite nostalgic, I'll mm-hmm. be honest, about my times doing that. And because I was really good at it, I yeah, will say, yeah. I will wear that badge of honour. 100%. I did love getting so oh, we always it, We always knew you were on, like any like thing. <laughs> oh. You were on. Thank you. I can still picture you in your cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's cargo pants and they're back in fashion. I had like five decks of darts. Them. Have you still got them? No, I've got. I do oh. have one pair actually. They, they are, are back in fashion. Pair. Coachella, Coachella. Everyone's mm-hmm. wearing them at Coachella on the cargos. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, and just a side note, you know how we have like side body bags, like the bum bags. I was rocking a mm. side body bag, bum ba- bag at Pamplona, two thousand and three. No lot, way. Like, no, I'll have to show. I'll have to post the photo. It's like a rip curl bum bag that I'm wearing uh, as a, a cross body. So it's well across. Oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was my claim to fame. Um, yeah, so I did. There was times that I did feel a little bit like, oh, just love a little bump, or yeah. I'd love a little drink just to you know get me a bit woozy or a bit uppity, and and then I th- I think probably because I was in the mosh pit on my own, I did feel like if there's if there's a time that I've really challenged myself and put myself in lonely situations constantly. Mm. Yes. And I've yeah. done, I have, I've, and I generally do that. I am um, extremist, <laughs> one extreme to the <laughs> other. But 
but that's my choice. So if I had have probably had, you know, say you bopping along beside me and going, oh, how good's this, you know, mm. I mightn't have had too much time to reflect when you're sharing it with somebody else. But because I have so yes. much time on my hands to reflect and think and observe, yes. observe, observe, observe my feelings and what I'm feeling. Yep. And, and all your senses. Yeah. 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 Up. yeah, totally. So that's been really interesting. And then um, at Canning Crows, I went to at Hamer Hall and I was right up the back, realised that I absolutely always need to be at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. I love but this realisation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and more so there, I'm sorry, but, you know. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get a drink, a, a cup of tea. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but the coffee machine was off. So I felt really shit. I'm like, well, I can't even get a cup of tea. Who am I? Because I didn't want soft drink. I had concert. one. <laughs> <laughs> but there was nothing available for me. And I felt not only am I gluten-free vegetarian and not drink, <laughs> I'm three lifestyle cha- choices I make that I yeah. isolate myself even more, right? And now I'm not yep, talking about, about it. Yep. I haven't thought about that. But there is nothing available. Anyway, as it turns out, on the menu, they didn't have non-alc drinks. But I went to the bar and I said, do you know how drinks? Turns out they do. They had three. They had plus and minus rosé, which oh, I great. ended up. I was like, do I really want right. this? I thought, yeah, I'll get it. Same as you, Breeze. I'm like, what's the point in this? Like, why am I even drinking this? Yeah. I sat there with my glass of rosé and on my own and I just thought, oh, it would be not. You know, you watch so many people walking past with all their drinks and they're mm. a bit, you know, woozy and I just thought, oh. And I think about you with your moderating or where you're at. Like, oh, I could just have one. I thought, what's the point? Like, what's the point in even having this? Like, I'm fine. Like, it's I'm never going to do that. I'm so staunch in my sobriety. Yeah. I'm, ne- I'm never going to say never, though. Yeah. I will, that, you I haven't will say said that, that. But I'm, you know, that's only because I've said that before. But I'm not going to. And a reminder to our listeners as well, stay in your lane. Don't pin your mm. um, sobriety or your relationship with alcohol to ours. You need yep. to really ask yourself why. And, you know, be rest assured. You, and don't feel. That's the whole point of this podcast. Cast is not to feel alone. You, everyone has a complicated yep. relationship, and yep. you know, hopefully, it's a little bit relatable. Like I said, my friend reached out yesterday, and you know, she's having a bit of a, a hard time. And I was able to point her in the direction to Lucy Quick through through oh, Rivalist. Listen that. to Lucy's episode. I think she was seventy six. I think or four, yeah. five, something. Just in seventies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was able to point her in the direction of where to get some help. I, I uh-huh. don't have the answers, but it's. I think it's gorgeous that people can reach out and go. Me too. Like yeah. I'm struggling here because it's it's a beast. It's a beast. Um, and speaking of like you know having <clears throat> a drink and you're like, what's the point? Um, I there's a beautiful restaurant in Bowen Heads called I think it's called the Heads. It's on like the end of the pier. Yeah. And and I've always wanted to. I've actually went. I actually went there a few years ago with a friend and we just had a, a drink and that was it. But I'm like, I really want to go for a meal here. And I had always imagined that it would be like, you know, well, me and Doc going there for like a beautiful dinner mm. and, you know, wine and all that. Mm. So I was at the river yesterday with the kids and we're like, oh, we're getting a bit hungry. It was one o'clock. I'm like, let's go to the Heads yeah. restaurant. So this you know, yeah. fancy restaurant. So we went in, stand like on our feet. I had like sporto <laughs> clothes on, a hat on, just like, out of their drink. <laughs> kids, yeah. were, kids were, I'm like, kids, get your like wet clothes off, chuck your, you know, trackies on, whatever. So we sort of walked in there, like drowned rats with sand everywhere. And we had the best, like beautiful meal. And I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have a, like a white wine with this seafood platter. But I'm like, why? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. and they had, and I went, I, I, when I saw their drinks, they had a non alcoholic list, which was great. I, I had heaps normal. Mm-hmm. But what I thought was going to be my wow factor experience with, you know, wine and seafood with my partner turned out to be like we walked in impromptu <laughs> and on our feet, ordered with the kids, and it was amazing. Well, I loved it. It was the best. And I was I just beaming the whole time. The kids were the oh. kids were awesome. They loved it. And it was so nice. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Think, and it was oh, such a contrast. It was such a contrast to what I thought was going to be a, an amazing experience with wine to, yep. yeah, just rock up and. Turn it, turning it on its head, doing it the other turning way. Turning it on its head massively. I bloody love that, Breeze. And I feel like that's marketing though, isn't it? We're sold the oh, story shit, of shit. what that meant to look like, and you went, "No, actually, I'm going to do it yeah. this polar opposite way, and it's better." Yeah, I hadn't thought of it that way. Yep, 
It's so Incredible. true. Marketing. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Rip up. Yeah. So story. that's that's where I'm at. Like I'm at like don't know if booze will be in my life, you know, as it is at the moment. Um mm. ha- like happy that happy for it not to be. Yeah. Yeah. But I did oh, I did I have this conversation that. actually with our good friend Fee. I was I was just a bit glum bum the other day and we we're chatting and I said to her, There's times when I really miss booze. There is times yeah. when I really miss it. Mm. And that does make me sad sometimes. Yeah. Just those can, little fleeting yeah. moments, I think, that like you've spoken about, yeah, Meso. Like at Reminisce. Yep. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Because it makes you feel part of it a little bit. Or, yes. Yep. You know, I felt, I did, I felt like I was sticking out like a sore thumb. Did ya? A little bit. A little, well, it was quite funny, actually, because this girl <laughs> came up to me and she, she's, she goes, I was like, you know, fist pumping, Bopping. you know, having a bop, having a bop. <laughs> And she's like, hi. She started getting into me saying, you know, you've got to pump your arms higher, Claire, like, you know. Yeah. Really. And she was obviously off her face. Yeah. And I was getting amongst it too. And, but she was being a pest. So I would have done the same thing. <laughs> know. You know, she was like up in my grill wanting me to get going. She goes, where's all your friends? I said, they're out the back. Yeah. And um, they were at the back and she's, she's like, you down here by yourself? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. And then I got my water out. She goes, oh, aren't you drinking? And I'm like. And she was just up in my grill wanting me to, you know, pump my arms and carry on. And in my head, I'm like, fuck off. Oh, you don't know who I am. <laughs> I used to be a hardcore rocker. Yes. I'm quite comfortable here just having a quiet little bop. <laughs> I don't need you on my shit right now. Sorry. I'm sweary. Kids in the car. No, but I hear that because you were that. You were that girl. Yes, I was that girl. <laughs> I was so annoying. So anyway, it was pretty funny. But, but fun. yeah, I do. Annoying but yeah. fun. Annoying but fun. But um yeah, so yeah, I do I do at times miss it a little bit mm. at times. Um it's just in those but I also when those thoughts come in, they flip on straight out. Like the, the yeah. fleeting thought is like, oh that'd be so nice. And then I'm like Aftermath. Oh. Yeah, aftermath. I would just I waking up fresh is oh, the most important to me. It's ever. so good. It's I just so love feeling good. good. I yes. love that. A feeling Same. good. Same. Feeling it's, good all the it's time. It's so addictive, that feeling good, waking yeah. up. And just the whole, um, like, you, when you wake up, like, the bags. You look so <laughs> fresh. <laughs> How good do we look? On. Like, I literally that- just put a bit of oil on my face, a bit of a glory yeah. oil it is. <laughs> um, I haven't done, I haven't, I, I will put makeup on before I, we're going shopping today. But, yeah, yeah you just feel fresh, don't fresh you, Fresh and a bit plump. <laughs> like, yes. you know, like yeah. Like, you're not washed out and washed up. It's I, a... Yeah. I read a quote that uh, J-Lo, because J-Lo doesn't drink. She'll be coming on the potty season three. <laughs> yeah. Our people have to speak to her people. But uh, <laughs> yeah. she doesn't drink for her skin. Oh, bang. that's the reason. Yep. Yeah, Yeah, wow. she goes, my skin's so much better when I don't drink. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, it's just poison. Ooh. I know. <laughs> like I had, a fr- I had a friend message me yesterday. She was talking about how she went to um, Aldi to get her $5 you know, clean skin, five dollar b- bottle of Savvy B, and accidentally oh, broke yeah. it. Like yeah. smashed it during, you know, rolled off the devastating. Yeah, and she goes, it just smells like piss. It just smells <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> but you know, went trottled off and got another bottle and drank it that night. Do you know what I mean? It is just disca- it, like you think about the first time or when you smell alcohol. It is rank. Well, I've I've often used the expression "tastes like cat's piss." <laughs> <laughs> so. When I actually first like had, I don't know, maybe my Nasty. taste buds are out of whack, but I reckon when I had my first taste of Moe, because obviously Moe's oh. like built up. Yeah. Built up to like this a, thing. Like a drink of gold. Yeah. And obviously the price point's a premium price point for us mm. general punters. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm having oh. this like, you know, first taste of Moe. <laughs> and my reaction was it tastes like cat's piss. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely cat's piss. Because I had been built up so much. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're paying, I don't know what it is, ninety dollars, probably seventy dollars on special. But yeah, you expect it to be a bit better than cat's piss. But yeah, that was yeah. my reaction. Isn't that? It's so true, isn't it? Like that. Quite often, when you have that first sip, it's like, oh, you got to push through it, don't you? <laughs> of any drink, like yeah. going going down that razor blade. That's oh, another that's thing so, that we say yeah. on a Sunday. Oh yeah, yep. going, going down that razor blade. Hair, or hair of the dog. Ch- or is it, um, giving me hair on my chest is another one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there's oh. no, there's not really any po- like many positive things. <laughs> not like, one. Yeah. So yeah. So that's season two wrapped up yeah. with it. Yeah. 
Um, we're having a two-week break, aren't we, May? So we are. We're having a spell. We're not though. We're still on full recording. We're we're recording. We it's, have got some crazy guests coming on, which is very exciting. We but. have. Oh my gosh, the guest list is off its head. So exciting. So stay tuned, Pete. Phone, fuck it with the PH. We can give it F with the call attacks. Phone, fuck it with the PH. Okay, so this isn't my confession session. I mean, what am I doing? Phone fuck up. <laughs> yeah, phone fuck up. PH. So I had a, I had a bit of a, I was trying to put a boundary around a family member. It was probably a couple, it was during lockdown when I was caring for my dad. And that boundary had been um, violated. And so I had messaged this family member. And do you hate it when somebody else gets on the phone that's yep. not that person and they reply? Yep. They Rude. Give you, yep. Yeah. So this other family member got on the phone and gave me a spray. And it was along the lines of, um, you're swanning about with your own self importance. <laughs> Whoa, vicious. <laughs> yeah, savage. There was That's a whole a lot of other stuff in the message, but. I wonder whether that person ha- has a bit of regret with that. They would have been on the piss. Yeah. Massive That's massive. That's yeah, it was huge. pretty harsh. It was pretty harsh. Did you respond? Uh, yeah, I would have. Oh, I yeah, would have yeah. and then block, block them, cut them off. But, yeah, probably gave them a spray. But yeah. I'm all for um, – that's a huge one, may say. And, <laughs> mm. yeah, that goes into text regret as well. But I'm my new thing is just silence. Yes. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's not silent treatment, but it's just know like. I did reply. It's just like, because sometimes if you reply, it's just going to be like a text fight. A text war. Text war, yeah. I yeah. probably said something about you're on the piss or something. Yeah. Know. It was that yeah. long ago. Shut it down. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty brutal. I thought, wow, here I am trying to just so brutal. do something nice in the world and you're having a crack at me saying that I'm swanning take about. It. Yeah, taking swanning it on about a personal my, level. Yeah, and it had nothing to do what, you know, completely had yeah. nothing to do with what I was addressing with the family member. Absolutely yeah. nothing. Like full attack. That would have been pissed. There's been no apology ever since. So oh, that's pretty which, brutal. Um, it's actually a good segue to okay. Echo. Okay. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time for the recommendation of the week. Um, so can I go yeah. first, Mason? You absolutely can. Because ch- this is part of the bit. segue. Yeah, um, I love it. And I actually have three re- quick recos. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I love three, three quick recos. I love <laughs> They're all quick. They're all quick. So yeah. the first one is, sorry is not a hard word to say. Love this. I love I'm this. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. I like that. Yep. Love the second that. one is challenge yourself daily. The example I'm going to give is like mm. I was walking on the beach this morning and mm. I was like, I should go for a swim in the beach because that would be uncomfortable for me. Mm. And I didn't because I was like, don't have a towel, <laughs> da, 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 windy. Excuses, da, da, da. excuses. Excuses, excuses. Yep. So yep. I was like, nah, okay, challenge. I need to challenge myself. And mm. like I could have easily just gone in for a swim, walk back mm. home. Okay. Mm. So challenge yourself. I'm going to take my own advice. And the third one is Brene Brown has a new book out. Oh. I haven't read it. Queen. But it's my recommendation because <laughs> I, my, it's called Atlas of the Heart and my oh. sister has a copy of it and I was flicking through it the other night mm. and, you know, he just land on pages. He just like, boom, she has like mm. her quotes there. It looks mm. amazing. So, um, oh. yeah, Brene Brown's new book, Get Around It. Cracking hey. recos. I love that you've thrown out three as well. Normally it's you that's a real hoggy. <laughs> well, I did have three there and I'm like, no, just cut it back, use one. So you've had three. That's good. You can that's do three. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Breezer, for that. They're cracking eps. Uh, recos. Um, I'll get on Brene Brown as well. Um, my recommendation is manifesting. I know that's a bit of a, lo- a bit of a woo-woo word that gets thrown around or just putting it out into the world. Yeah. So I wrote a list of things that I really wanted on 4th of November last year. And my um, one of our best friends, Carly, actually said, you know, manifest, write exactly what you want. Yeah. Those things are coming to fruition. And I put them, at, in fact, I will circle back. So that episode we did um, with me of talking about my sexy dates and stuff, it was really interesting. I was talking to Andy from Etch about it too. Um, and she, when you, she said, when you put things out to the world, mm-hmm. it's out there 
and then you can change your mind. You can change your mind. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because I felt very differently after I did that episode. Very, very differently about my what I wanted as far as dating and men. And I did put at the end of that episode the things that I wanted. I wanted, you know, someone that's done the work and all of the the things that I wanted. Yep. And that is coming to fruition. Oh. Because I put it out there to the world. Yep. You've manifested it. So put it. it, I did, I have manifested it. And I know that sounds a bit kooky for some people and it's like, oh, manifesting, manifesting, but I'm a walking, talking example of that and I'm really excited for what has. But I've done the work. You can't just go. You have, you have. You know, write it down and not put all the other things in place. Like it's growth and pain and all of those things. And I just, as, as you said, I'm just super, super grateful for everything that's happened because I wouldn't be who I am where I am and up and about and all the I feel like I'm reaping the rewards of the work that I've been doing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So manifesting, baby. So write it down. Put it out there. Write what you want. Yeah. Put it out there to the world. Um, and all our dreams will come true. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh. way to wrap it up. Lovely way to wrap it up. Our um, listeners. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. It's just Shh. It keeps building momentum, this body. It does. And, and because of you guys, people who've been writing reviews, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, as please, well. we love that. We, we do love our see that. Thank you. Yep. So keep getting in there with Apple Podcasts, write reviews, five stars, share it, subscribe it, share it with your friends. We really, it does make the podcast get out there further. It grows legs and it'll be so much, so helpful for more people than we ever know because everyone is struggling. I was actually going to read one out, May. So, just yeah, read, read it, read it out. Let me just, yeah. let me just, this is, I'm totally just done this. Um, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, let me just yep. see. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. Um, I absolutely love tuning into BFB. I love our acronym too. Um, when I'm driving out or walking my dog, I feel like I'm hanging out with my mates and always get a good giggle. The conversations are real, honest, raw, but often very uplifting and inspirational. Love your work. Meso and Breezer. And I reckon I know who that's from. <laughs> is, it, is it from Scotty? No, it's from Andy. <laughs> oh, I love she, that. Andy always listens that when she's in her car or she's walking their dog, Frankie. Oh, I love that. <laughs> We're always on tour oh, no. and I'm always shotgunning the front seat. <laughs> yes, you are. So, <laughs> get yeah. Over the, get get over the itch, people. We love that. Thanks, Andy. They're Thanks, beautiful. Andy. So nice. Yeah. So nice, peeps. We, we, we do love that because, like we said, we don't know. Actually, a friend said to me yesterday, she said, do you know what you list like? Because it really surprises me. Do you find people slide into DMs that, or you talk to them, they go, "Oh, we're listening to your pod." I'm like, "Ah, oh, you like that? Yes, so amazing! I love, that. I love it." When people, love it. when we hear that people are listening, because we don't really know, like we see the stats, but we're not really tied up in them. But yeah. we love that it's helpful. So we 100%. love you all. Thank Thanks, you, guys. E dog. Thanks, E dog. For polishing producer. us up. Yes, I couldn't do it without you, E-Dog. And thanks, Altina. We love you. Breeza, <laughs> thanks, thanks you. I bloody love ya. Can't love wait ya. to see Can't you Can't wait to see three. See <laughs> you See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. This podcast is proudly produced by our audio engineer, music extraordinaire, Eric Lab. We love you, Eric. <laughs>